The SEO check page can be found in your Magento admin navigation by clicking on default SEO check. Once there you'll see a list of best practice SEO configurations. Some of them green, which means they've been set correctly, and some of them red, which means they still need to be done. An example of this would be setting web server rewrites, which by default sets are now. By clicking on the link provided, and go to the configuration and change that to yes. Now if we return to the page, you can see that that option has been set correctly. By default within Magento, the category name is used as the heading tag, is used in the breadcrumbs, is used in the navigation and in the title. Now, in most cases, when performing SEO on a website, we would want to adapt the heading and make it slightly different from the title. Um, unfortunately, Magento does not provide us with the option to change the heading tag specifically for categories. With the Creator SEO extension, we have now created a new attribute whereby we can specify the heading that we wish to use for this page. If we were to enter that into our new category heading attribute and save our category, we would be saving that attribute against our category for use on the page. Now if I were to refresh the page now, we will now see that our new category heading is used. A common problem in Magento is that categories can be indexed multiple times due to the layered navigation that exists on the page. By default, if I was to view the source, we'll see that it's set to follow all and it would do exactly the same if I was to use my layered navigation filters as well. For example, if I click on 0 to $999, we've got our query string at the top there and by default we'll have exactly the same robots meta tag. However, what this extension does It adds its own meta tag for a no index follow. We'll remove this from its index and it won't index the page in the future. It will only index the non query string version of the page. Upon installing the Career SEO extension, a new page will be created at the following URL slash sitemap. This shows a standard HTML sitemap featuring CMS pages, default pages, categories and subcategories. There are configuration options within the administration panel underneath Career SEO and HTML sitemap page. Within this section you can choose whether or not to show the default slash contact link, whether to show our account pages i.e. login or my account show the XML sitemap, although this is dependent on whether an XML sitemap has been created, whether to show CMS pages, show categories, and show links as a single list. So if I were to just enable that, all that does really is changes the styles so that for a very big page, a very big site rather, this page will just extend down. Within this extension, you're able to edit your htaccess file and robots.txt file within the admin panel. Go to Creator SEO in the navigation, and then click on Edit htaccess. In here, you'll be in the configuration, and you'll be able to see your htaccess file in its entirety within the text area. To edit this, I can simply add an example. and this will now be saved to my actual htaccess file. The same applies for the robots.txt file. Currently on this installation, one hasn't been made, so you get a warning come up, letting you know that that file doesn't exist and that you can create one on your domain route to use this feature. If you want to have a look at how we recommend you do a robots.txt file, there's also a link at the bottom of this 
page to view our current one. To reduce the risk of duplicate content issues um, within Magento, one of the simplest ways you can do this is to actually remove the duplicate button within Manage Products. To do this, we would simply navigate to Career SEO General Settings and within the SEO Settings area, Disable Duplicate Button in Product Edit. If we set that to Yes, click on Save and then go back to a product. We should now see that our duplicate button will magically disappear. For SEO best practice, the keyword meta tag is no longer necessary, and we prefer not to have empty meta description tags also. If I was to look at the source of the home page of this default Magento installation, you see that there's an empty meta description tag, and there's also a keyword tag with some default keywords in it. This will show up by default. If I was to go into our extension and enable this setting, and then refresh the source. It will have removed the keywords tag and the meta description tag because it's empty. If I go to the actual page, and add in an example meta description, as this is no longer empty, we should find that the meta description comes back. We have also added support for Twitter cards and Open Graph. This is structured data markup for product pages in particular. Within the Career SEO general settings, we'll see a new section called Twitter cards and Open Graph. Within this section, the only things we need to configure are our Twitter creator and our Twitter site. Usually these are the same, and for us, that's our Twitter handle, Career Group. All we need to do then is enable Twitter cards and open graph tags, save our config, then on product pages in particular, we should be able to view the source and see a new section within our head tag. This will generate the code for Twitter and automatically populate with all of our prices and location information, our images, our description, and also additional tags for other networks such as Pinterest and Facebook. And if we just take a quick look at how this Twitter code will represent itself in Twitter product cards, you can see here. Please be aware that it may take up to about four weeks for your account to validate once you request approval. The performance cleanup script runs on a cron job and can be configured in your Magento admin area in the configuration. What it's responsible for is it will remove any files and database entries automatically that are not required by your store but which can build up over time. An example of this would be log entries in the database which can grow to millions sometimes and also your cache and session folder which can be found in your var directory on your Magento root. Within the configuration you've got the option to enable or disable the script you can also enable whether it cleans log entries and the cache and session folder and also you can ask it to auto enable your cache so if your cache is set to disabled and it's on a live production environment you can make sure this extension will make sure that it's set to enable one of the default pieces of functionality that come with Career SEO is the ability to decide where to send your visitor if they appear on your website through a disabled product link. By default, if we were to disable a product, we would be serving up a 404 page to our customers. So if I quickly do that and do not set any of our new features here and just refresh the page for this computer product, should see that we are served the 404 whoops our bad page 
Now, as you just saw, we now have an option called Discontinued, whereby we can choose whether to redirect customers who visit this product after it's been disabled. We can redirect them to the category, and this would automatically take the parent category. So, if we just try that out now. Real one redirected category and refresh that page instead. That should automatically take us to our computer's category page and also a display message saying that the product computer has been discontinued. There's a couple of other options that we can set. Um, we can set to redirect to the home page if we don't have a parent category for this product and we can also redirect to another product SKU. So for instance if there was a uh, different product or a product which replaced this one then we can choose the SKU and the system should automatically take our old URL and pass it to our new gaming computer. One of the issues we've noticed with Magento is that it can provide pretty flimsy default product titles, meta descriptions, the same goes for categories and CMS pages as well. So what we've devised in the configuration is an area where you can set your own default titles and meta descriptions for products and categories and so on. And here's an example of how you can do that. So using short tags we've got the product name with a hyphen, then the store and if we want to we can bring in the manufacturer as well and an example better description as well if we enable that we've got a name comma store comma manufacturer if I'll just go and show you how before I save this how it's set by default we'll check the page source and you'll see that the description has just the meta description sorry has just borrowed the main description and even cut it off halfway which isn't great for SEO best practice and the product title is literally just the product name if I enable these settings now, it tells me the configuration has been saved. So if I refresh our source code, we'll be able to see that it's brought in the product name with a hyphen, the store is called English, with a comma, and then the manufacturer name. And it's done a similar thing as well for the meta description. So we've got the product name, the store name, then the manufacturer. And I can change this. To my heart's content, remove certain things if I want, and I can have it however I like, and that will be the default that it uses if no other page titles or description have been set on the entity. So if I go to this product now in the admin and set my own page title and meta description. on the product and then refresh it once it's saved. We'll be able to see that it's now changed and it started using our unique page title and meta description that have been set directly on the product rather than using our default fallback. So the fallback order is it will use your unique page titles or meta descriptions if they're set on the product. If not and the extensions enabled then it will fall back and use the ones that we've set in here. Otherwise, if we disable this again, it will go back and use the completely default meta description, which I showed you in the beginning. And remember, the same applies to categories and CMS pages as well. So if I take these unique ones out and then refresh, you see it's gone back to how it was at the start. Another option in here as well is that you can set your default contacts and meta description as well.